Hello, everyone. Hi. Okay, so for those of you who maybe don't know me, and then maybe Alex, you can introduce yourself. Um, I'm Kinsey. I work in a local school district and I work with, um, so my job right now is I work as a school psychologist. And that's a long title, which means the fact that when I work in school, I work with people who have feelings and they may be upset and I work with them to figure out how we can make their school day better, right? So I go to this church and I'm here uh, to help out Miss Jen and to help out with BBS. Alex, would you like to introduce yourself too? Sure. If you don't know me, I think I know all of you. Um, I am the associate pastor at Covenant, and I think I got to do VBS with all of you last year, too. So I'm excited to see you again. I want a spin. A spin. What can you do with a spin? I can scoop the food and put it in my mouth. And spoons are used for one of my favorite things to eat ever, ice cream. Right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love spoons. Who should go next? I have you kind of next on my screen. Somebody in a blanket just handed Wait a second. Me. Who's <laughs> under the blanket? <laughs> I have my two sisters here, Vee. I don't know if I'm behind anything, but I brought a napkin. A napkin? Nice. That's a very fancy napkin. Mm -hmm. I love, it. love it. Napkins are cool because they clean up all of our messes from ice cream, right? <laughs> sure. So I brought a mug because I really like drinking tea, and so I brought a tea mug. <gasps> I have a mug right next to me, too, that has leftover tea in it. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite flavor tea? Um, I really like this. My mom had this loose leaf tea, mm. and it's re it's really good. I think it's from like Lebanon or somewhere. Oh, that sounds yummy. Okay, I bought a fork. Nice. <sighs> yes. What do you uh, love to eat with a fork most? I like to have pasta with a fork. Yes. Love it. Do you do the spaghetti twirl? Do you ever do that? We, what do you I have? Bo we both did the same thing. Okay, well, what's your favorite thing to eat with the fork? I like to eat... Um, I'm not really sure. I just like to eat. That's it. Okay. We brought lavender flowers. They're wow. usually in like the center of the table. Yeah. We can look at them when we're eating. So cool. Is that real lavender? Does it smell like it and everything? Yes. Yeah, it smells really good. I love the smell of lavender. And did you grow that or did you buy it? We got we it. Okay. That would be very perfect lavender if you grew that. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, what did you bring? I didn't bring a mug, but I brought a cup because I'm drinking iced tea today. What? Well, know, what? What kind of flavor is your iced tea? Um, I do, I do a mixture of black and orange tea. Oh, yum, man! Fun. Well, I have something on my kitchen table right now that I forgot to bring to this. Um, yesterday, I noticed that my bananas were turning brown. And I get really excited when my bananas have turned brown because I can make banana bread because the moment your bananas are more brown, they get more flavor. So it makes for the best banana bread. So I made banana bread and I had it for breakfast. Awesome. That sounds really tasty. <laughs> but it's there. It's there. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All okay. right. So we're talking about all the things that we have at our tables right? And we have spoons, we have things um, like forks that you can eat pasta with. What are some ways that we can invite people to our table? So we talked a little bit about um, inviting people to your lunch table and starting conversations there at school. Um, what other ways can we feel, make people feel invited to come to our table? 
You can smile at them. Love it. Mm-hmm. By smiling, you make people feel invited, right? If you're frowning, mm-hmm. nobody's going to want to come to your school table, right? But if you're smiling, they know that they're welcome there. I love it. I was thinking maybe if it's during the school year, I could bring a couple extra slices of my banana bread to see if anybody wants it. Maybe. Maybe nobody likes banana bread, but I love it. (laughs) So I don't have an idea for school because I'm not in school, but one of the things that we did with my family was we had dinner and we invited other people over Zoom. And we ate dinner together. Smart, making dinner together. <gasps> so we couldn't invite them to our table in person, but at least we could have a Zoom table. Yes. So you could have like everybody make a pasta dinner. Oh yeah, we, we, could, oh, we didn't do dinner. that, but we could. Ooh, I like yeah. that. Cool. Oh man. Maybe you could talk about your tea making secrets too. I like to add sugar to mine. Do you add sugar to your tea? And you could talk with each other about your tea recipes. Wow. Well, it was great to talk to everybody. Good to see everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. All right. Who's going to show me what did you bring from your table? I have to say what it is. It's a map that says blessed on earth. And why did you pick that? Um, my mom. It was the only thing on the table. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, so that's neat. When you guys come to the table to eat, you get mine is dino dirt. Okay, you you remember you're blessed, right? That you because you can come to God's table. Uh, is that Wait a? Plato swine. Oh my goodness, that's cool. All right. All right, why do we why did you bring slime? What you like to play with slime at your table? Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. That looks great. All right. What do you what is that? Good. All right. Is that your favorite water? Uh I brought salt and pepper. Oh, <laughs> that's perfect. What do we use? Why do, what do we use salt and pepper to do? With, what does it do to the food? To season it and to make it taste better. Yeah, it makes it taste better, right? So that was pretty cool. I didn't bring. I didn't bring anything, but if I did, I would have brought a light bulb because we have a fan over our uh, dining room table, and it doesn't. And there's a light on it, and it really doesn't work very well. Like you can't really see much of the light, so. That's that guy. This candles or something, right? Cool. All right. What's some fun stuff that you do around your table? I mean, we around. Think about your kitchen table. I'll bet you do more than just eat there. Yeah. Yeah. So my mom say how oh, Grace before eating um. Oh yeah, you say Grace, right? And thank God for the opportunity to be around the table. Right? And the food is going to go on it. That's good. What, what are some fun stuff you do around the table? Does anybody do anything fun? Me. What do you do? I play with my dino dirt. Nice. Oh, dino dirt. Yum. Delicious. Anybody else play something on their on their tables? Um, we like to play like all sorts of games, like um, don't be nice to your neighbor or like card games, stuff like that. Don't be nice to your neighbor. Wow, what a game! <laughs> okay, yeah, well, my family likes to play cards. Um, Legos. Legos. What's a good way to get to know somebody who's different than you? Um, talk to them. Just up and introduce yourself and say hi. Sure. What else? Invite them to play. Yeah, that sounds like that sounds good. Invite them to play, right? Yeah. In your packets, you're gonna see that picture. The brother came back, and that they had a party to celebrate. Who's this guy back here in the? In the corner, who do you think that is? 
Jesus. No, no, no. I don't think that's. I can't see it. Jesus. I can't see. Who do you think I these people good, are? I don't, have good, I don't have good eyes yet. Um, isn't that the younger brother? Yes. And who's the other guy? Um, there's the dad and the older brother. Where's the older brother? The older brother is the one who's coming with his head down. You mean way back up here? No, he's the one in the front. Oh, you thought that? Oh, I didn't think about that. Okay. Did anybody think maybe that was the older brother? I could be wrong. I, that, I thought that was the older brother, and this was the dad and the younger brother. But you know what? I like your idea. That's the older brother. And the dad's trying to talk him into coming to the party. Well, thanks, guys. It was really nice hanging out with you. Okay. All right. So. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'll see you. Uh, I'm going to turn back. off the. Okay. Bye. 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 I sit with my mom, dad, and my sister. So, are you willing to share anything that you guys talked about during dinner time? Did you tell? Did you tell them about all the crazy stuff that happened after you spent the night at my house? Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. So, can we play a game of Simon Says before we say a prayer and head out? Okay. So what I want you to do is I need you to um, move your chair back because I want you to be able to stand. Give yourself just a little bit of room. Do you want to come play Simon Says? Sure. Okay. All right. And I'm not going to be able to see you most likely very well, um, but we'll try it out. Okay. So remember that if I say um, Simon says, and then I give you um, something to do, you're going to do it. But if I don't say Simon says first, you do not do what I'm asking you to do. Right? Okay. So Simon says, put your hand on your head. <laughs> Simon says to take your hand off your head and nod your head. Okay. Wave your hand. Um, I didn't catch anybody. Ah! <laughs> All right. Um, Simon says, shrug your shoulders. <laughs> Simon says, clap your hands. <laughs> Put your hands on your shoulders. Oh, boy. No. Ah! All right. Put your hands in the air. Oh, I didn't say Simon says, did I? Okay. All right. Simon says to go like this with your hands. <laughs> Simon says to frown. Simon says to smile. Give a thumbs up. Oh, you guys are too good. Oh, man. All right, one last time. All right, um, Simon says to stand on one foot. Simon says put your foot down and give yourself up. Simon says to gently um, tug on your earlobes. Gently. Put your hand on your nose or your fingers on your nose. Oh, I can't get you guys. You're so good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Have a seat. And I hope as you go throughout your day today um, that you kind of are a little bit more aware of showing compassion, maybe to a sibling who might be bothering you or when your mom or dad tells you to do something that you might not exactly want to do, but you, okay. Or if somebody hurts themselves or something like that. Okay. All right. Have a great week. Bye. 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 Hey. Hi, everybody. It is so nice to see you. I think this is everybody. Yeah. My name's Miss Jen, and I have met most of you, but not all of you. So we're gonna take a few minutes. I know you've been sitting for a while. We're gonna take a couple minutes and let you talk for a moment. Did you bring something from your kitchen table? Yeah? Okay, so, so raise your hand if you wanna share what you brought from your kitchen table.
I got a whisk. whisk. A whisk? What do you do with a whisk? A uh, mixed pancake batter. Oh, I love pancakes. Do you put anything in your pancakes? Chocolate chips. Ah, that's a good one. That's a good one. What about your brother? Did your brother bring something? Yeah. It's a pancake turner. Oh, let me see. Can you hold it up? A pancake turner. Now, did you guys have pancakes for breakfast today? No. No. I haven't had pancakes for a while. Last time we had them, we had blueberries. Does anybody like blueberries in their pancakes? Oh. I, do. I like chocolate chips better, though. I think that's a good choice. All right, how about somebody else? What'd you bring? Go ahead. I, I brought a spoon. A spoon? What do you love to eat with a spoon? I like to eat peas and mac and cheese. You like to eat peas? Yes, peas and mac and cheese. Okay, I like mac and cheese. I gotta be honest, I do not like peas. But I'm glad you do, because they're good for you. And, and, and I like to use this for corn, too. That's a good choice. It's hard to eat with a fork, right? Those little tiny little yeah. peas and corn. Yeah, here hear you. Yeah, Unless it's no corn peas. on the cob. <gasps> I love corn in the cob. Right, right. All right, so who here likes peas? Raise your hand. I don't, so I'm not going to raise my hand. All right, and what about corn on the cob? Who, I like corn on the cob. Who uses a spoon for corn on the cob? For corn on the cob? For corn on the cob. Not on the cob. All right, who has something to share? That's you, I'm talking about you. Hi, did you bring something from your table? Uh, yes. Uh, I brought this, this, and this. <laughs> Oh my goodness, tell us about the purple thing. What is that? Uh, uh, something, I don't know. It's not like a blow pen. A blow what? pen. A what? A blow pen. How does that work? It's like a marker. You blow in it and it like sprays everywhere. Oh my goodness. With it and stuff. You, that is amazing. Oh my goodness, I've never seen that before. <gasps> you want to show one of the pictures you did? What? A butterfly. That's amazing. I am so glad you're doing that at your table. Well, thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Is there someone else? What is What's in there? Is it a pot? <laughs> is there anything inside? Can you show us? What's in the pot? Show them what's in the pot. What is it? What kind of food? Uh, Show them. Uh, 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 Show uh, them what's in the pot. Say a fish. Okay. It's a secret surprise for dinner. <laughs> Who likes surprises for dinner? Anybody? She likes surprises. Really? I know my kids like to know exactly what's for dinner. Exactly. Well, thank you for sharing, Lou. There we go. Napkin. Oh, nice! Where do you put your napkin when you're eating? Um, beside the. Beside you? Yeah. And you use your napkin? Awesome. That's great. That's a great skill. Well, I appreciate that you shared that with us. Thank you so much. I'm gonna share one thing with you too, and I'm gonna take you all off mute. Can you un unmute yourselves? Because you can call out for this one. Okay, so one of the things that I have is a lot of paper, like napkins and plates, because my mom loves special napkins and special plates. So, what do you, when do you think we use this one? Christmas. Christmas. This one? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Yep, yep. 
And actually, my Matthew's birthday is on Valentine's Day. This one, can you see this one? It says, congratulations. Graduation. Yeah, congratulations. My daughter graduated from high school, so we had special plates. How about this one? This is a tricky one. Summer. Summer. Summer times. Yep, yep. Barbecue. And this one you might be able to tell, but I know it has big words on it. Christmas. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are all times that we get together at the table. And we also get together every Sunday morning. And sometimes we have pancakes. And we also get together every night for dinner. And that's where we share about our day. And we're not around a table right now. We're kind of around a screen, mm -hmm. but I'm super glad you're here. I'm going to show you one thing, and then we're going to say a prayer, okay? I want to show you a paper that came in your first envelope, and it looks like this. Did you guys find this yet? Oh, hold it up if you've got it. Nice! Awesome. Okay, good. This shows a picture of three people. Can you tell me which person? Remember, there are three people in this story. Point on your picture if you can tell me which one's the dad. Which one's the dad? Can you tell? I think this one's the dad, right? Welcoming home his son. And who's this guy back here? I think that's the older brother. He hasn't gotten he hasn't gotten to uh, welcome his brother yet home. But I hope they all gather around the table. I do. So before we go, let's do a prayer together, and we're going to act this one out. All right. So you're going to put one hand on your head because you have to see and hear and watch for what people need and then put the other hand on your heart because when you love people, you can help them, right? And we're going to say this prayer. Welcoming one. Welcoming one. Your warm, wide arms are always open. Are always open. Drawing us into your heart. Drawing us into your heart. Full of love. Full of love. Make our arms your arms. Make our arms your arms. Help us to see. Help us to see. And welcome. And welcome. With compassion. With passion. All who we meet. All who we meet. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Well, I'm going to I'm going to tell you right before you go to check our website because on our website there are two more videos that you can watch today. One kind of gives you an idea what was in your box and shows you your book and has a little book activity and the other is so that you can make a poster, okay? So I would love to see what you color here. So if someone will send me a picture, I would love to see it. And then after you cut, you cut it out, you can start with your ribbon. And you can put one on every week. Okay? No, I'm not done that one yet. Thank you guys for coming.